Hi, this is Rosie, and we have a 1967 West Wind for sale. Uh, we took her from the bottom to the top remodel. Everything's brand new. Let's go ahead and get started in looking at her. So she's got a nice fresh paint job. Uh, this is a nice um, aquamarine blue with the yellow and of course the white. Completely stripped from the old paint to the new paint. Uh, it's nice and fresh. The quilted pattern is classic for these old campers. Uh, her name, Daisy. Little hand painted job up here. The lights, we love the lights. Little teardrop lights. And then back here in the back, we have a little trunk. We can put our sewer equipment, toolbox, uh, jacks, different kinds of stuff that you might want to carry with you when you're camping. Uh, also, we've got storage in the bumper here. You undo the bumper just like this, super easy. You can put your awning poles in here, uh, fishing poles, things like that. Would probably fit in this little space right here. But also, we have this cute little license plate. Uh, she is ready to roll. Uh, has a clean, clear title. Um, up here, we've got these really pretty little teardrop lights as well. Come around to the back or the back side. Again, we can drive her down the road, and this is her, Miss Daisy. Beautiful little camper. Uh, we've got the water hookup right here with a water filtration, which is, you can buy these very easily at Walmart. Uh, also, we've got our electric here, which is a 30 amp, 30 amp electric, easy to plug in and out. Uh, you've got the moon hubcaps, brand new wheels, brand new, what are those, jacks? Got jacks right back there, over here. Little vintage windows. These are all original windows. Again, we love these little lights. They were an upgrade to get these lights. Um, here's the front. We put the diamond plate on it. Uh, it was really bad shape when we got the camper, so we put the diamond plate on. Of course, we had to paint the little. Um, this is propane. <laughs> Propane tank, so we painted her up to make her look pretty. Um, and we've got a leveling levels right here. So when you park her, we make sure that she's nice and level. Also, we're gonna come around here to the, the entrance to the camper, which of course is my favorite part. Um, we also have plugins here, plug in your little lights. This is awesome. Of course, you can't forget the vintage canvas awning. We got this um, from Marty's awnings in California. One of the first things that we bought when we got this camper because we just love the little vintage awning. Um, easy to take in and out, slides in, slides out. Um, so we've got plenty of shade. Uh, again, just the look of her is just so pretty. So let's just close the door, kind of take a look at the door. So original door, everything on the outside is original except we did add these lights up here. So there's plenty of light with these bulkhead lights when everything's turned on. So again, we got the little moon cap hubcaps, which is so cute and vintage. Also, this is the original door, original screen door, brand new, um, what is this? Aluminum screen right here. So we've got it sealed up real tight. There's um, rubber here to where it'll seal and then easy to open just like that nice and fresh so let's go ahead and take a look inside all right let's go so this is of course my favorite part is the inside i love this so when you walk in you've got these cute little uh, custom made doors uh little, little hooks you can hang pocketbook a leash um just grocery bag something like that to get out of your way and when you open it up there is storage in here. We've got our bar stools, room for our pillows, for the bed. We also have, uh, if you can get in here and see, there is room for lots of different things in this, in this closet. You can hang cl clothes in here, things like that. Okay, let's shut that up. Now come on in. Take a look at this adorable interior. This is all tongue and groove. So it's from the ceiling. We got a different kind of um, pattern going on. We've got the, water, the wood going this way, the ceiling going that way, kind of gives a little architectural detail. 
I've got some great little corner cabinets here or corner shelves. Put your drinks up there, your cell phone up there. We've got plugs right here. And when you come in, if you don't like this bright light, we can dim it up. So it's got a dimmer switch on it, which is awesome because it can be a little bright in here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the light back on. All these little windows have the cranks. So we can open it up just like so. We get some air in here, put the little hooks back. If we wanna shut the window or shut the curtains, undo the curtains and then um, they'll fall completely and cover it so you've got privacy. So again, plug-ins, which are great when you've got a phone to plug in. Uh, this is our futon couch. Also, it's a bed. So when you want to go to sleep, you pull the futon out. It, it's custom. It fits perfectly in this little space. It folds out into a nice full-size bed. My husband's six foot. I'm five foot seven. And there is plenty of room for us to sleep in this little camper. Okay, come on around to this side over here. Oh, and we also can watch our TV. We have a DVD player that we put on as well. Um, the DVD player we just set over to the side. But this is a great little TV. Comes with the camper. Um, again, it's swivel. So you can take it out, move it around if you wanted to. Um, so that's kind of a nice little feature that this camper has. So the floors are a nice... Um, what is that? Some kind of a wood, um, laminate wood. So it's very good for uh, getting water on it. It's not gonna buckle. It's not real wood, it's lightweight. Uh, again, <laughs> I love my color scheme. This is all custom. Came out of my little head. My husband, of course, helped get, make this all happen for us. Um, we have a nice little stainless backsplash over here. We have gas stove. I'm having a little hard time. It's easy to open, easy to turn on. Just like so. Whoa, it's hot. Okay. So, brand new propane. Awesome. Now, we also have lights, fans, storage right up here. Lots of storage for your plates and cups and bowls, things like that. Okay, and then all this counter space. I love this counter space. We've also got drawers here, cabinet here with our little trash can. Um, one thing I didn't mention, forget to mention, and that is underneath this futon, there is tons of storage. So I use those big plastic totes and I put all of my clothes and blankets in those totes and they fit underneath the bed completely. So there's lots of room underneath here. Um, so we've got storage up here, nice new microwave. Again, everything in here is brand spanking new. So the sink is new, the stove is new, um, microwave, we've got a refrigerator, freezer, fridge, more cabinet space, um, drawers. Oh, and the best thing, it has a hot water heater. So if you want to have hot water to do your dishes, um, there's, a little wa there's a little air in the line. So we've got water right here. Okay, we've got hot water, cold water. Uh, again, it's a nice, good size sink. And it, does, it has a hot water heater. So if you needed to wash your hair, take a quick little bath, a little sponge bath, you could do that with the hot water. Okay, come on over here. So again, coffee station, this adorable little window. Come and look at this little window. This is the cutest little window. Look at that little curtain, isn't that adorable? It's cute. So there we go, we got, a um, of course, our little paper towel holder. Uh, we have a mantle here for our fireplace, which I love the fireplace. So let's go over here. I want to show you this fireplace and the air conditioner. So there's two things you need. You want air, you want heat, you want cold. So let's go ahead and check out the fireplace. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then we can change the setting. You want a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Isn't that pretty? And then also, it is a working fireplace, so you can actually get heat. So if you want to camp in the fall, you can do that because you've got a heater. Love, love, love that. So, okay, now let's look. also look at the cooling system. So the cooling system is right here. This is a low-profile air conditioner, which, man. So up at the top of the roof, 
it is not going to stick up real high. That's about an $800 air conditioning unit. And boy, does this thing get cold at night. So the air comes down through here on this side and also in the back on this side. Because of the roundedness of it, the air just pulls through. So you are gonna stay really cool and it cools off very quickly. All right, another one of my favorite features of this little camper is the fact that you can sit in the kitchen and have something to eat. But very easy, this flips out. You put this little piece right here, right in here, just like this. Sturdy, nice and sturdy. And we've got little bar stools here. So there is enough room here for us to sit and have breakfast, have coffee. We can watch TV right over there. And it's just, it's a great little piece to have. So if it's raining, you can be in here and eat at your little table. That again is all custom. This was all handmade, hand done by me and James. That little piece fits right here, just like that. Just like that, there we go. Okay, all right, here's one of my favorite pieces, or part of the camper is the bathroom. Gotta have a bathroom. <laughs> in my opinion, in every camper. This is a beautiful little bathroom. This door was all handmade. Um, I don't know if you noticed it before, but our little flower, this is like a three-dimensional flower, so it's little pieces of wood that have been hand-painted and added to give it this really fun little flair. So let's open up the bathroom. Little hooks for towels. Uh, you can come right in here. Here's the potty. And all this is the beautiful tongue and groove wood little vintage light love this little light little plug right there we have a plug over here for our you know hair dryer curling iron things like that great sink we can wash our brush our teeth wash our face wash our hands um little window here we can keep it open during the day if no one's using it and then we want to close it up when we have to do our business um, again i just love the curve all of this was a lot of work. We took a lot of time in painting it. Um, it's easy to handle, easy to keep clean. It's all washable. Again, this is just, a, we love this little camper, but it's not uh, gonna stay, stay in our hands where we wanna give it to a new, a new family. All right. So this is it. We are asking $11,000 for all of this. Again, she is a showcase, she's a showpiece, she's a beautiful work of art. Um, we took it again from zero to nothing. We had to gut the whole interior. We insulated everything from the floor to the top. We took the outside, scraped all the old paint off, put all new paint on. Um, everything in here was custom to this camper. So um, I just, I love this camper, she's beautiful. She's a little showpiece. You take her out, people are gonna wanna look at her. They're gonna wanna check it out and you can show her off. So here's our lights. Again, these are nice and bright for at night. When you're out here camping. You can have a lot of fun with decorating it up. Really play off the vintage vibe. So thanks again for looking at our camper. We really hope that you enjoyed the show of our little vintage 1967 West Wind. Her name is Daisy and we'd love for her to come home with you. Thank you so much. Bye.